Now I'll set a scene for you. One of the first things that attracted me to music was the discovery of the big bands when I was 11 or 12 years old. And I had a very good collection going before long. I had all the Harry James records I could get my hands on. I had Gene Krupa, all the Benny Goodman stuff, especially the trio and quartet were attracted to me. Tommy Dorsey. I remember you bringing home a Glenn Miller that I liked a lot. But I had never seen a really big band before. I had no idea how exciting it was to see a band in person. Then one day when I was a freshman in high school, here comes along the perfect band in the perfect setting. And I was there at the Orpheum Theater to see and hear Duke Ellington. Ellington had a huge band, five trumpets, four trombones, six saxophones. It was gorgeous. He filled the whole stage, and it was terrific. But I remember sitting there in that beautiful theater, those small orange lamps glowing in the dark, all that ornate architecture, and this terrific music coming from the stage. And I thought, this guy is not playing the stuff that everybody else plays all the time. He's playing his own compositions. And one of them that really impressed me was Sophisticated Lady. It's a piece of music that really told a story all right. And I decided someday I was going to outplay that. The only way to do that was to get the music and memorize it note for note. And I've played it for about a half an hour every day for four months. I haven't got it down pat, but it's starting to come around. This is Duke Ellington's sophisticated lady. <laughs> 